Okay, so thanks for joining me in part two. So in the first video, we covered how to make the database and table and then how to connect to it using PHP. So in this video, we're gonna go over how to make the HTML and CSS markup that makes up the box you saw in the intro of the first video. So we're gonna say new file and then save it as index.php. And then we can go to that in our browser just by going to slash search, which will automatically take us to our index.php, which for now is blank, completely blank here. So I have Emmet installed, which means I can just do um, exclamation point and press tab, and I'll get a totally um, blank HTML skeleton set up. Um, but you can do it, you know, the old standard way if you want, or you can get Emmet for Sublime, which I think is really helpful. So now I'm going to link jQuery. This is just hosted by Google. You can use this link or you can just Google um, jQuery Google or you can download it from the jQuery website and include it. I like to just use this because Google kind of keeps it up to date and whatnot, which is good. Um, I'm also going to include the style sheet, which I haven't created yet, but we will create afterwards. So link href equals CSS slash style dot CSS. So let's make this file before we go any further. So new file, save, style, dot CSS and it's in the CSS folder. So now our CSS needs to have some default parameters. We're going to say asterisk and then we're going to say that that means all, every single element needs to have these properties by default. So we're going to say margin zero, padding zero, list style none and text decoration none. And in this case, I'm going to say font family Arial just because I don't want to have to put it on everything. You might have your own font, in which case leave this part out. Okay, so now our style sheets link, we can give it a title. Let's do real time search. You know, you can see here, that's where we'll see up here, real time search, there we go. Um, and now we need to just create the, you know, this is just purely aesthetic. If you already have this set up, then that's great. Um, you can skip on to the next video, but this is how we're gonna make it look like it did in the intro. So create a div with the class of header. Go down, close it off. Inside here, create an input which is obviously where we're going to type our text in. The type needs to be text, name should be search, or whatever you want, but bear in mind later when we're using our Ajax, um, Ajax script, you need to remember this. And also, we're going to give it a class of search, just, just so we can style it. And obviously that looks like this, it looks horrible, just a white search box. Um, so we're going to style this in CSS now. So now we've got to say dot .header width 100%, height 50 pixels, and then background color, the one I used in the intro is 08435B, like this. So now you see how this looks. We've got this exactly like it was in the intro. I'm also gonna give it box sizing border box. Ooh box size and border box, which means that I've set it to 50 pixels. So if I put padding on this, uh, 10 pixels, don't make it 60 pixels, keep the maximum height at 50 pixels, and then put the padding inside, which is gonna be really helpful to center our search box. So you can see now, it looks exactly like this. Exactly the same, no difference. But if I put padding on this, and I say 10 pixels top and bottom, zero left and right, our search box is gonna be centered but not quite, but that's because we haven't styled the search box yet. So through this, we do dot .search because that's the class we give to our search box. And I say height, 30 pixels. Again, totally aesthetic. You can use exactly whatever you want to do. And padding is zero on the top and bottom, 10 pixels left and right. Box sizing on this also, border box. Don't let it get any bigger than 30 pixels just because we put padding on it. And then display, block, margin, zero auto which will center it inside this container which is 100 percent wide so we'll center it in the center of the page exactly like this it's looking a bit thin so let's make it a bit wider to so say width 500 pixels again what i used in the intro font size 16 pixels pretty standard and then border i give this solid one pixel black and now if you look at this it looks exactly like it did in the intro you see you can type in here and everything's everything's perfect right But now we obviously need to make the part where, but now we of course need to make the section where the results appear. So we're gonna do this by creating a div outside of the header and give it a class of results. Again, you can call it whatever you want. Go down a couple of lines, close it off. I'm gonna copy this and go into our styles. Go down, dot results, and then the results um, have a width. In this case, I've used 498 just to compensate for the border around the search box. You see it has one pixel, that'll mean left and right. So that'll make it, um, a bit wider, so we've made this a bit shorter to accommodate, a bit thinner. So background, color, white. And then for this, just for the purpose so you can see it, we're gonna give it a height of 200 pixels. Um, box shadow, oh God, box shadow, that was an ordeal. Zero pixels, zero pixels, three pixels, RGBA, 16, 16, 16, and then 0 0.3, 
3 and RGBA is red, green, blue with an alpha channel so you can make it slightly uh, opaque, slightly transparent even. And now also we're going to give it a margin, minus 11 pixels, which on the top, take it up minus 11 pixels. Auto, which means make this centered also, zero and auto. And for those who don't know, you can do four parameters in margin. This is the top, this is right, this is the bottom, this is the left. If you do two, it's just top and bottom, left and right, but we can do four. So if you look at this now, you can see here, drop down exactly like what like what Facebook looks like, I suppose. And now we're gonna go to the box for when users drop down. So we're gonna go inside our HTML here, um, and I'm gonna create one just for now, even though there's gonna be obviously multiple users that can drop down, I'm gonna create one. Create a div with a class, of user inside results, go down a couple of lines and then close this off. And again, we can style this before we carry on. Go into our CSS down dot user, and the styles for user is with 100% of its um, parent, which is 100% of the results box. Height 50 pixels, you can set it to whatever you want. KSR pointer so that when you hover over it, it could link to their profile, for example. Box sizing is border box and then padding is just five pixels all around it. And if I give this a background color of red so you can see what it looks like, you see we've got this. You can't really see anything now. You hover over it, you get red. So this is gonna be one user. And I've also put a little hover state on this, which I'll just copy in for you. Um, which means that when you hover over it, the background color changes so a user knows what it does. So now obviously we, we're gonna keep the red on there just while we're styling um, and building our, on our structure. Um, so inside user, we're gonna have a div with a class of user image and we're going to give it a, 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 I'm going to make a div and not an image tag because we're going to set it as the background image. Everyone's profile picture is going to be a different size. We don't want to squash it into a square. We want to set it as the background image so that it can exceed the boundaries and it kind of looks good on all um, at all sizes. So I'm going to close this div off and then I'm going to say P class user um, name and I'm just going to write mark. No, I'm not. Yes, I am. Hinton. Let's close that off and then user image. Let's style that down user image and now we can start to style so say user image height 40 pixels width 40 pixels a perfect square um, background position um, center background size cover and then box shadow we're gonna give it a box shadow zero pixels zero pixels two pixels and then this 0A435B sort of thing um, and then this, you know, RGBA style, but we're gonna maybe make it 0 0.3. And then we're gonna carry on styling this. Float it left, so that means we can put the, the name to the side of the image. And then background repeat, no repeat. And then margin, right, which is just so the name doesn't touch it. So by three pixels. So if we look at this now, we'll see like no different except for the name. You can see here where the image will be. And we're not defining the image in our CSS for a good reason that you'll see later. We're not gonna define a URL to the image here. But now we can keep styling with dot user name, which obviously is the name of our user. In this case, Mark Hinton, but it could be anything when it's pulled from the database. Height, 100% display flex and then align items center and display flex is one of the lesser known CSS properties and I think it's amazing so you see all that and we've just created this it's centered in the middle of the whatever it's inside of so it looks really good so now I'm going to get rid of this background red from up here where is it there delete that and you can see you know it looks pretty good it looks exactly like it did in the intro um, so now we can get rid of the height of the results because obviously the, the height of the results is going to vary based on um, how many users are inside it it could have no users one users ten users um, but now we've also got to create um, a something called no users which is how it's going to look when there are no users in the database so I'm going to say height 50 pixels display flex uh, align items center justify content center which will mean make it flex so that we can control what's inside it and then align it center justify it center so that I'll put it center it vertically and horizontally but for now that's it with all the CSS that's exactly what it's going to look like um, so thanks a lot for joining me in this video let's go to part three where we can see how we populate it using input from our database